Welcome to our Vue.js tutorial. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when creating custom components. Our viewer has a question about a shared radio component that isn't checked on render. Let's dive in. So what's the challenge? Our viewer has built a view component that extends a native radio input aiming to enhance its functionality with additional markup and styling. However, they face a problem. The radio buttons don't show as checked when the component first renders, leaving users confused until they interact with the component. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and I'm hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To address the issue of the radio buttons not being checked on initial render, we need to ensure that the component correctly reflects the value of the V-model prop. First, let's modify the computed property in our view component. We need to ensure that the radio button value is initialized based on the checked prop. Next, we need to ensure that the checked prop is correctly passed to the input element. This will allow the radio button to reflect the initial state. Finally, remember to update the parent component where you use this radio input. Ensure that the V model is correctly set to the desired value. By following these steps, your radio buttons should now correctly reflect their checked state upon initial render, providing a better user experience. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with the view.js radio component not being checked on render isn't a view problem. The code is functioning correctly. The real problem was having multiple radio groups with the same name attribute. Remember, each radio group needs a unique name to work properly. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.